With this video, we'll take a look at how students will continue to progress through Unit 4 using tens and ones to compare numbers that are easily confused. The main standard for this video is NBT3, where students will continue to compare two-digit numbers based on the value of the tens and ones digits, recording the results of comparison with the symbols less than, greater than, or equal to. As students continue to become more familiar with using greater than, less than, or equal to, to describe the relationship between two numbers. One thing to watch for as they continue to show mastery is to ensure that they're not having a misconception about the reversal of the value of the tens or the ones digit. So in looking at these two numbers, some students in kindergarten um, do continue to switch their numbers and have number reversals, including writing them backwards. Um, that is one thing with more experience. Hopefully it starts to um, go away and we wanna to continue to watch that as we move into lesson nine. In lesson nine of this unit, there are some numbers where the, the digit in the tens and the ones place is reversed, giving them a different value. So when students are comparing the number 21 versus 12, we want to make sure that we're using the questioning um, for why they know that 21 is greater than 12 to get them to voice that the 21 has two groups of 10 and one extra, whereas the number 12 would only have one group of 10 and then two extras. If students are still inconsistent with being able to explain why 21 is greater than 12, you can bring back the manipulatives to make sure students have that visual to see that 21 does have the two groups of 10, whereas 12 only has one group of 10. And then with 21, that the one is showing one extra. And in uh, um, 12, there are two extras. So as students continue with more experience and mastery of moving just to the numerals to compare those relationships between the number using greater than or less than, we wanna make sure that that explanation is able to be clearly voiced um, as part of their proof statements.